Local businesses already getting a boost from all the visitors. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane learns about the economic impact it brings to the community. Not only were the fleets, waters, and divers blessed on Thursday, but so were local businesses. Coffee Chris, guys, the trip, 12.30, can join us. From tours to shops to restaurants, the historic Sponge Docks district feels the impact of visitors. We have about 25,000 people that could attend. Attending the 117 year tradition of one of the biggest epiphany celebrations in the world. A lot of those people looking for a good place to eat. You enjoy today, Mama? Say. Making their way to places like Mama's Greek cuisine that sees a boost in business during Epiphany. In Greece, they celebrated the kids, even adults, die for the cross. But here in Tarpon, it's just that's how everyone comes from the East Coast, the West Coast, South, North. Everybody comes for this celebration. Okay. Everyone, including Rena Van Such, who traveled from Ohio to see the celebration with family. It's a really joyous thing to see, and I haven't seen it since I was a young girl, and my daughter's never seen it, so it's just a way for us to get together and celebrate something nice. A nice tradition that Tarpon business owners hope will keep them blessed throughout the year. In Tarpon Springs, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News. Something that is uh, particularly unique to the Tampa Bay area. And our own Jamison Euler will continue our coverage tonight at 6, leading up to the Epiphany celebration tomorrow. And ABC Action News will also be bringing you live coverage of the important tradition tomorrow as well. You can join us starting at 11 o'clock. Just download our app on your streaming device. All right, let's take it live.